Hi everyone. Uh, this is just an experiment I thought of uh, as a response to one of the homework questions in the fermentation week. It was talking about using heat to prevent an avocado from browning when cut. Uh, it's always seemed a bit weird to me cooked avocado, but that's probably because uh, it's cut first and then cooked, which uh, accelerates the browning process. Anyway, so this uh, experiment's going to have a look at seeing whether you can do it anaerobically by uh, cooking it uh, sort of semi sous vide in its skin first and then cutting after achieving a, a thorough temperature all the way through. And the temperature is a bit high at first, but um, with the lid off and then on the lowest setting, the uh, temperature in the pot remained about 65 degrees, which is you know, okay enough, I suppose. I tried to rest the avocado on one of the uh, silicon pads from the tongs to prevent direct heat from the hot plate, but uh, it didn't really work out, so I... I calculated it should take about 45 minutes to heat to the core, but I uh, opted to err on the side of overdone rather than underdone because we still had a long way to go to the uh, Maillard temperature and just wanted to make sure it was definitely all the way there. I then heated a jalapeno chili and blanched some uh, cilantro as well just to make sure that didn't uh, affect the browning process as well. The outside of the avocado is quite brown, but thankfully the inside was still nice and green. I initially made two batches of simplified guacamole, one using the heated ingredients and another one using fresh ingredients. These two batches I then divided into two again and added about an eighth a cup of lemon juice to uh, each of the two halves. On the left here you can see the heated guacamole and on the right is the fresh guacamole. Uh, on the top we have no added lemon juice and on the bottom the lemon juice has been added. So after two hours uh, the totally unpreserved sample is noticeably brown whereas the other three there isn't much noticeable difference. After 12 hours the unpreserved sample is very brown uh, however the singly preserved lemon or heat samples are now slightly brown and the uh, sample that's been both heated and added, lemon juice added, is still mostly green. It's, it's a bit browner than it was, but not much difference. I should note that all the, the coloration you see here is pretty much on the surface of the uh, samples. Underneath, they're mostly still quite green. So there you have it. That was my little experiment. It uh, was uh, pretty much a success, and I'd like to... Uh, Thank the, uh, all the people running this course. It was uh, very enjoyable and very informative. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next one.